We must be getting over 40k an hour at times. Hey everybody, how is it going? It's not just bikes that I use to keep myself fit. I'm gonna go for a little run with the dogs this morning and we've got some really cool products from non-stop dog wear to try it as well. The idea is that I can go for a run with the dogs and they'll tow me along. But if you've ever seen me run, you'll know that I'm not the fastest. Let's see how it goes. Leave me, let's go. Hang on. Right, this way. Oh my goodness! Right, go! Oh wow, that is amazing! It's so much easier than actually just running by yourself. Come on, pull me up the hill. Go! Last mad. So I thought this would be funny, but I didn't expect it to be like a whole new level of enjoying running. It's almost like the e-bike equivalent of going for a run. No promises that it's a sport after cycling, but compared to normal running, it's just hilarious. You can see one dog wants to run, the other one's a little bit unsure. You can see the beans all twisted there. Basically, the more they pull, the easier it is, like you feel like your feet are floating. So whilst it was obvious both the dogs and myself had a properly good time, we clearly needed a little bit of help. Luckily, I know someone locally that's pretty good at running with their dogs. It's an actual sport, it's known as Canicross. His name is Jason Pascoe, and his dogs are genuine athletes. European World Championship level, they are machines. I was allowed to have a bit of a go and get a few pointers from Jason. Jason and one of many strong, powerful dogs. Dogs ready to go for round two? You ready? Feeling World ready? Gold, world silver, European silver. Five times maximum. I've got a few. They'll follow. Right, okay. How uh, fast are you going to run? Because I cannot run. No, I'll just sit in the harness, so basically I'll let him follow. <laughs> All right. You ready, Dees? Thank you, I need it. Oh, come on, dog. Go, 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 go. One of you is doing a good job. Yeah, he pulls right, doesn't he? Yeah, Pippi, leave his bits alone. Pippi, look, you want another lead? In a way, the best way to start running is actually run as slow as you possibly can. Okay, and get the technique correct. 35 minutes, just slow, and, and without the heart rate going up. Then your body will get the natural way, you know, the natural gait of running. Yes, whereas what I've been doing, is, is heel striking. So you're breaking, you're landing with a straight leg. Is that why my legs hurt so much running? Yeah, because you, you're hitting the ground hard and using power. So so you it's almost like you're working from your back yeah. and, and not your core. Is that okay, so when I'm breathing hard, it's also hurting behind my shoulders. You feel that, do you? Yeah. Like that, yeah. that was, I'd say, probably the reason I couldn't go any faster is it's hurting to breathe. Yeah, because the impact's going into your back and, and your, your thoracic spine is, is basically, I mean, you, you breathe from here as well and, and that you know a lot of that is getting tight yeah because of the impact yes whereas you know if if you're light and, and you're you're just using gravity to go forwards then, then you're not using power you're not putting too much effort in um how often, how many times a week will i have to run to get not just myself used to it but big pippy or bean as well i mean really the, you're you're the the weak link like i'm the weak link with our dogs as well you know because they can run the dance like faster than i can yeah so so most of their training is actually on a on a bike or a scooter i've got a scooter that i just stand on yeah and they just pull that that's cool see that way they can they can run this pace they want to run the best thing to do would be um say run with her maybe once or twice yeah in the harness okay but you need to be running three times without harness but you only need to run 30 minutes yeah each each run cool and that that can be as slow as hell, 10 minute mile pace. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. That's the best, you know. I mean, you, you don't want to be running fast, really. With her, she's just going to do it. Yeah. She's just going to do it. I think the problem is with her fitness, um, you would get, you would accelerate that by having her on the front of the bike. Yeah. You not really pedaling and letting her pull it. Okay. 
I don't think I'm going to be walking the rest of the week. <laughs> oh, see, he's, he's faster than I. What's he like with a bike? Gosh, you're wrong with a bike. Is that your dog barking? Is that just the excitement? Yeah. Pepper's, Pepper's trembling. Happy. Oh, happy. Here we go. This is happy, yeah? yeah. Oh my goodness. Good job we've got brakes on this, isn't it? Wow, definitely should have worn glasses. That's unreal. <laughs> I didn't expect to get dirty like that either. I would have worn glasses. I don't even know if I can see. Anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're loving life, aren't they? That is so much faster than any e-bike. Any, I don't, you can't compare it to anything. Like, no. Santa Jason, the way it pulls you out of the corners. It's just unlike anything else you would ever experience on a bike. Hi. What are you saying, Pepper? <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. Go. It's like a motocross bike or I don't know. Alright, watch this, but he pulls you out of the corner a minute. Like, wow, so much front end grip from a dog. I got so much mud in my eyes. Go on, Happy. You get him. You catch him. Go on, buddy. So fast. We must be getting over 40k an hour at times. I don't even know if you can see this. Normally this feels uphill. There's a lot of spray off the hind legs of a dog. It's quite probably the dirtiest I've ever gotten in 15 minutes. Wow. Just wow. Cheers for that, Jason. No worries. See you later. <laughs> so, well, we'll do it again soon. Honestly, I'm still lost for words. It's so fast, you truly have to experience it to believe it. A massive thank you to Jason, to Sarah, to Diesel, to Happy, and of course to Pepper the Beast. If you've got any questions about Bite Jaw or Canny Cross, drop them down in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them.